All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? My name is D Dog Two Thousand here, and I don't know why I said that so slow, but today, guys, we are going to be learning how to make a running and then a jump animation tutorial. So, listen, I've been getting one request about this, but they really, really, really want to know how to do this. I'm thinking, but because you know, who wouldn't want that? And this is my animator 1.0.0 demo five, but you can see it up here. But, that's exactly what I wanted to say, and, um, that's, yeah, that's it. And, now, we're gonna get into the animation, so, run, and jump, just because, you know, create. I will be making a tutorial on making 3D letters, because somebody's been having troubles with that, so. First, we're gonna be, well, not today, but we will be doing it tomorrow, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm not gonna put a skin in, because, you know, Eh. But if you want to know how to do a skin, you just go to the library and you just go to press skin and you just browse and make sure you have like an area on your like desktop or something that holds all your skins. Right now I got like tons of these and you'll find out a little bit of spoilers about what I'm going to be doing in the future. But anyways, let's get right into this animation process. Now, first of all, like I, I made a running tutorial a while ago. So, we're going to be doing the exact same process, and it's going to be a little bit longer of a tutorial, seeing as how I gotta teach you guys how to run again. But we'll be only taking two steps and then a jump, okay? So, uh, remember, you always have to start out like this, unless you want them to start off at a lead off. In that case, um, I'll be making a different tutorial for that. And, yeah. So. It's chaos. You've been wanting to, this animation tutorial for a while now, I'm, I'm guessing. So, let us proceed with this, and let's get into the animation. So, like before, you're going to want to have him on the ground for first starters. And you want him to be able to go like this. And we won't be doing an animation tutorial with um, uh, easy... Ease in and out cubic. I usually use that for smoother animations, but linear just seems a little bit easier for this situation. So, um, let's just have him go like that. Raise his leg over here. Duke him a bit. Duke him, duke him, duke him. And extend the leg out further. Now, this run won't look as well as the other one that I made, most likely, most because I'm not focused on that, but go check out the running animation just to make it a little bit better. That looks okay, so we'll make it go like that. Now, if you're wondering why the foot's going through, it's only, oh, it's only because it's going straight ahead, but if you guys want it more detailed, just leave down in the comment section below, but we're not making a very detailed one, so it's okay to have this so far. And I did that wrong. <laughs> and uh, let's go like that. And let's go like that. Um, I'll be making two different things, uh, hopefully, because <laughs> I don't know if this one's gonna work as well. I'm hoping. I actually haven't done this yet, so I'm actually learning how to do this as we go. Yeah, forget, forget that little thing that I just did there. I do not want that. I do not want that. Okay, so. Bend his body a little bit back. Have his arms give a little bit of oomph to it. Bend his leg a little bit more. Extend it a little bit. Make it a little bit quicker if it looks too slow. This again looks too slow. Make it a little bit closer. Oh, I know what I know what's going wrong here. I know what's going wrong here. This is not right. This is got to be like that, and then it's got to be like that. Just 
Actually, you know what? I want to make this, like, bend a little bit more. Make it a little bit closer together. This just doesn't look right. Maybe a little bit farther. Remember, if it doesn't look right at this point, it might be because the whole thing is not finished yet. And this is my first time doing this, so if it doesn't look right, eh, that's another problem. And, um, ooh, that, that's for if you're going to do something else. Okay, so, um, this is, I'm trying to figure out if I should keep the arms like this for one more second. This is actually very hard, guys. Especially since I haven't had much practice for it. Let's extend the legs like that. Going down a little bit. Now, once again, if it looks too far apart, just smoothing it out by getting it closer together. And the fall will be a little bit slower. Mostly because he's in the air for a while, so you can't have him just like slowly. So now we're going to change it here. We're going to have this leg be a little bit different. Mostly because, oh my god, that was not what I wanted to have happen. Actually, that actually looks way better <laughs> than mine. You want that, but you want him actually bending his legs a bit. We'll bring that out a bit. That looks right. See, it's all about the testing, guys. You just gotta test around for a bit. Now let's finish off the landing for you guys. A little bit of whiplash. Not the full out whiplash yet. Nah, that's not right. Uh, that's not. That's definitely not right. Oops, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. The body still has to stay down. And then it can bend over because it's just now getting into the position where it bends. I'm gonna bend those knees. Don't want no bend. Raise it up a bit, line it up where the landing was. And there you go. <laughs> This isn't a detailed one for you guys, so um, this is just a basic one, but you can modify it any way you want. This is just a basic. Like, it's not even a full-out sprint and then jump. This is just a regular run and jump. So, and landing, and you can lead him off after that any way you want. You can make him jump as far as you want. You can make him do anything you want. 
This is just a basic little setup that helps you out with what you want. If you want to change the speed, go ahead. That makes it easier for you guys. Because this is the speed I like it at just for a little slow tutorial for you guys. And well, let's put this thing on shaders mode. I got 55 FPS on my laptop. And there you go. You got your running and jump animation. And remember, this is just a basic and not these really, 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 really. What do I go? Detailed one. So if you want to make it detailed yourself, go ahead because this is supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be very detailed. It's supposed to just give you an idea on the basics on how to make it. And think about it. It's only 17 frames. So that's a well. Um, 17 frames. Uh, well, I guess 17 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 17 times 6. I think. It all depends. This, this, this is a frame, or these. this bar is a frame. I can't quite remember. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for today. Um, uh, if you want to see any of the other animations, just scroll through my videos. You'll find it sooner or later. And if you enjoy me giving you tutorials, tutorials like this, sorry, I started. And... If you like that, then go ahead and leave a like down there. I don't, I, I honestly, I, you don't need to put one down, but if you want to, go ahead. I'm not about the numbers, I just like seeing numbers, because, you know, numbers are amazing. Especially numbers that have dollar signs, that, that's nice too. But I only like that when I'm on GTA. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, peace out, stay on rainbows, and I'll see you all later, and take care, goodbye, and peace out.